How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that has been over 24 years I have been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close colleagues say if you cut Andy in half it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool. I have now written 134 articles and recorded 30 hours of VMware vSphere videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Experts Exchange awards over the last 10 years working with the Experts Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame at Experts Exchange. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert programme since 2011 and more recently made a VMware vExpert Pro for the last three years. Hello and welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, although this is going to be five to ten minutes, so this is going to be a shorty, and I want to quickly show you how to enable SSH remote access on a VMware vSphere Hypervisor 8 host, ESXi 8. Now, this is going to be very, very similar to the previous video that I've done on enabling SSH on ESXi 7. Uh, and I've done a previous video on it. Um, but I want to show you, and I'm going to deviate slightly because I'm going to show you two different methods to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how to access, uh, how to enable um, SSH by connecting directly to the host. Um, and I'm going to show you how to enable SSH by enabling it via vCenter server and also obviously you can uh, enable SSH uh, via the DCUI via the console uh, which I've showed you before in a previous video so without further ado and I'm not going to start waffling um, I've already connected to my ESXi host via the HTML client uh, using a web browser directly to the server and as you can see, it does actually say that this is connected to vCenter server. It's currently being managed from vCenter server. So all we have to do uh, to enable SSH, and currently you can see that it doesn't actually warn us that SSH is enabled. Now, you may have dismissed those messages so that you don't know that SSH is actually um, uh, enabled. Uh, but if I just run uh, Putty, uh, which is a simple Windows application, that allows us to create an SSH session. Uh, I've already have a save session and I click open. Uh, then you can see very quickly that the network error connection has been refused. So SSH is currently not enabled on our ESXi001 server. So I'm just gonna click okay. Uh, so back to our ESX host client and I'm going to right click on the host and I'm gonna click services and I'm going to click Enable SSH Secure Shell. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Right click on the host, Services, Enable ESXi Shell. And very quickly, you will actually start to see that you've got these blue information and yellow warning messages uh, that SSH has been enabled. And if I go back to our putty and I actually turn around and say Restart Session, and now we get an SSH connection to which I can specify root followed by its password and were logged on via putty. Now a warning here, there have been um, documented uh, and very prevalent malware uh, attempts and ransomware attempts against ESXi servers that have encrypted all your virtual machines because if you leave SSH uh, open and you have very poor password and uh, a brute force attempt can be made against the SSH session and um, a hacker can actually basically get onto your server they obviously can then actually start shutting down your virtual machines starting them up or encrypting them all so just a warning don't leave SSH enabled long term um, just enable it for troubleshooting so the second way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to our vCenter server. So I'm already connected to vCenter server. Uh, and 
You may notice in the summary that it's telling us that ESXi shell for host has been enabled. SSH for host has been enabled. That's on ESXi 001. And if we look at our ESXi 002, um, so how we enable it here, we would select uh, configure and we would select services and we select ESXi shell and click start and click SSH. Um, but before I do that, let's go back to our putty just to demonstrate that if I create a new session for our ESXi host and click open, then we're going to get a network error connection, connection refused. SSH is not currently running. So if I just start that now, if I go back to our summary, we're going to get these warnings. And now if I go back to and say restart session, OK, potential security breach. Uh, it's telling me that a host key doesn't uh, match because we probably changed ESXi002 at some point on this machine. So I'm going to click accept and I can now log in with the root user ID and the password for it. So that's all I'm going to show you in this video. I told you it was going to be uh, nice and quick. Um, but I just wanted to draw your attention. Um, and I did mention this when we were building these uh, ESXi servers. And I did actually say to you that we are limited to 16 gig um, of memory in these host servers that we're using. And we can't expand them beyond that. I have actually had a little look uh, using Google and through the forums. And it does actually appear that although you can get 16 gig DIMMs for these, and they will register and they will function. Unfortunately, um, hosts can actually use more than 16 gig. So 16 gig is the limit. And I did actually mention to you at the time uh, that uh, we may struggle uh, with this particular host uh, because currently we have one virtual machine, which is uh, VMware vCenter Server 8, which is using 14 gig of memory. Um, 14 gig. 3 gig memory active, uh, but you can see there that we're already getting a host memory usage warning because it's actually stating that 15.97 has been allocated, 14.66 um, gig used. So I'll have to see how we go in the lab with this particular, particular machine. But anyway, that's all I wanted to, um, to show you in this particular video. Uh, please come back and have a little look at the other videos in this series. And uh, OK, so thank you very much for, uh, for watching and goodbye.